So what I'm going to do tonight, I made these trees out of cones and yarn. So I'm going to show you how to make those. And then we're going to do an arrangement. I had found this online. A lady was selling it. And this is a primitive dough bowl is what it's called. Um, so I scarfed up on it really quick because I'm always looking for containers like this. So we're going to be working with that tonight. Yes. So welcome and welcome to my channel. I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. So I picked up a couple kinds of yarn at um, Michael's. This one I absolutely love. It's great to work with. This one, if you do not keep it raveled, it wants to unravel. So this one can be a little bit messy. So this fabric or this yarn, here's the, uh, hi Tara, there's the tag for it. Okay, I've already done one out of this and we're gonna do another one. And there's still a bunch left. So you can bet I'm gonna be making some wreaths and these are gonna go in there. If anybody is looking for um, styrofoam cones, I have a bunch of them. You can find them sometimes at Dollar Tree. These that I have are actually bigger. I used these last year for the carolers. So thank you, Tara. So, um, I, I do have a lot of these left if anybody's interested. I just listed my reindeer today. I only bring him out at Christmas time and I only listed eight. So once they're gone, they're gone. And I'm going to be putting him back in a wreath this week, probably. So I'll show you. I did post today on how Lori did it one time. Um, I had sent her one last year, and she did it with a mesh wreath. I did it on an evergreen wreath. So there's lots of ways you can do these. But like I said, he only comes out once a year. So if you want them, you got to get them now. And I listed, oh, what else did I list? I list some wooden stars. I listed, oh my gosh. Oh, corn cob pipes for a little um, snowman. So I listed those today. All right, let's get this plugged in and start working. It's just a matter of wrapping it around. But what I noticed with this one, you don't want to pull tight. You just want to lay it in the glue so it can maintain its... Um, density once you pull it it gets really flat so in order to make it look real pretty you just gotta gently just roll it around no pulling involved just glue and rolling all right so actually with the top you can see i kind of just curled it around that's what i like about these cones these cones are flat on the top this one's from dollar tree um, the other two are not, but I put a little felt on the bottom and then I stuck a dowel in there. There's, um, not a dowel. Well, it wants to pull the whole thing out. These skewers with the point on them. You can get those at Dollar Tree. I actually put one up through the two pom-poms of the um, snowman. Now I made that with my pom-pom maker, but then I used that fuzzy yarn because I wanted it, to, I didn't want it to look real smooth. I wanted it to look chunky. So, so here we go. Well, if this would heat up. Kind of just did a little back and forth wave going on here and then just wrapped around. I had originally bought pom poms for this, but they just didn't look right. So, 
we're back to square one with decorating these. You see, it's just a matter of twisting and gluing. They just look so pretty. Very easy to make. I actually saw them in Michael's made out of the red as Christmas decor and I'm like I can get yarn I can do that so that's what I did simple 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 and you know with the size of this skein I'm gonna get a lot out of it And all I did was put a piece of felt on the bottom so I don't have to wrap the whole bottom. If the bottom was showing, definitely I would have wrapped the whole bottom. But because this is going to be in the arrangement, it's not going to show. Just real gentle. And I am eight followers away from hitting 3,000 on Facebook. So the more you sprinkle, the more exposure I get. And then we're going to give those signs away. And what I did was I actually took it onto the bottom around once just so it covers the felt. And if any reason you see any of your, um, your cone, you can just put a little spot of glue in there and you can just maneuver this back and forth to cover it. So it gives you good exposure. It is soft. Soft as a puppy. I'm going to take this a little into the middle just to cover up the edge of the felt. That way it just gives it a nice even look. And then we will snip it. I just love the, it's kind of like has a velour look to it, which really makes it look pretty. There we go. Now, I tried the pine cones, they didn't work. I mean, not pine cones, um, the little pom poms. I didn't like the way they looked. So I found this that I had in my stash and I cut it up and just made it look like sparkly and spiky. Whoops. And then for the red tree, and I can even do this for the green tree, I have red berries and I thought that would make a nice tie-in to the red and then possibly put the green on that tree. And these are the hard ones, they aren't the soft ones, so let's try that and see how we get it, how it looks. Because this, you know how I like to do my um, projects, and I want them to look farmhouse, kind of country looking, so that's why I'm using these. I'm just going to cut off a bunch on here, and we're going to glue them to the tree. And they have that sheen, that little like sugar look to them. So 
so I think they'll look real pretty. If you wanted to, because these have a little bit of wire on them, you could actually stick them in, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they will. They'll stick in. All right. Now, what I did on this was I kind of went down every so often and put one in. I don't think I'm going to do the whole back because... They're not going to be visible from the back. trying to get a visual and where they're going to look good. Then you kind of have to go back and get all the hot glue spider webs off of it. actually get those little light kits and cover these with lights even. That would look cute. You could even just go up like this, up like that. I like to make it look kind of even, so maybe we'll do it that way. And you can use your rows of the yarn to count, too. Like you could do every three, every four. That looks kind of cute, doesn't it? You see the glitter on there? It's kind of like, looks like sugar. All right, so now we're going to put a little hole in the bottom here. And then we're going to take one of our skewers. And we're going to get it in there. Because I'm going to use this to push into the styrofoam that I have on the in the um, bowl. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting them at, I have different heights. So, see I don't want them the same height. I kind of want them different. Now let's put some green ones on the red one. I already went and decorated his hat with some ribbon I cut up some wire ribbon. Hi, Dorn. How are you? You're making a yarn tree on a styrofoam. Here comes Dawn. She's going to add. <laughs> Aren't they? And they were so expensive in the store. So it was kind of like we're making our own. And I'm not sure I have these, which will probably be listing soon. Yes, it is, Bobby. <laughs> I don't know. And I, and I need to talk to you, Bobby, because it's saying... Um, it's using up cellular data, and I don't know why it, why that's on there when I'm here 
at the house. It should be using Wi-Fi. Bobby was trying to help me get it working and it knows when I call her because then it starts working. I'm going to trim some of this. And this yarn, like I said, is a, is a lot harder to work with, with that than this because you have to keep it twisted. But it was the only real pretty sheen um, red that they had. I shouldn't use those. I should use these. If you remember, this was the um, berries I took out of that um, crock that I had purchased. I said, we're going to save those for another project. You know me, I like the hard ones, not the styrofoam ones. Styrofoam pop in damp weather, cold weather. I didn't turn it off, Bobby. I left it on. <laughs> I did not want to lose lose it again. Because every time I talk to the tech, he's like, well, what are the colors on the top of your... And it's like, I keep telling him they're green. Green means go. And that's the same question he asked me over and over again. I know what colored go means, green. Yikes. Hi, Lulu and Lola. I hope you're watching. My little Lulu. It's looking kind of pretty, isn't it? Get a few over here and go back up. Let's put one more on. Doesn't it really look good against the red? It really pops. I may end up putting the red on this too, I don't know. We'll kind of leave it that way for now, but you know me. And then end up changing it up. All right, let's get our skewer in here. snowman's hat on and these were just the two pom-poms that I made out of that fuzzy yarn and I put a skewer up through the middle we'll put his nose on I know right the red one is harder to work with Dawn that yarn is a little little finicky So he's got his nose, and then when I find his eyes, we'll have his eyes right now. It just kind of looks like one of those fuzzy chickens. <laughs> All right. Um, now, this is actually left over from that wreath base, the one that was so crappy. So, 
I'm not going to, I actually just put a little spot of glue. So when I'm done with this, if I want to change it out, I can just pop these off. I didn't push them down real hard. I just like touched them to it. So if I need to remove them at a later date, I shouldn't have a problem. But I kind of wanted these here so I could put this over top and push these in to hold this into place. So that's the whole reasoning behind the uh, styrofoam. And that way it's going to hold this pine down because these are going to go through it. I was trying to think of every aspect. Hi, Missy. Now, I think I'm going to give him a little glue. His head is kind of spinning around like the exorcist here. I don't want that going on. There. And I'm going to put a little spot of glue on his skewer. So then we can put him in here. And he's stuck to it. There we go. Now he's stuck to me too. So see, there we go. Yep. Came back up through. All right, let's try it again. There we go. All right, now he's in place. And I promise he will have eyes and buttons tomorrow. All right. So next, I have the other three piles of the styrofoam. Hi, Nanny Dot. So I'm disguising the styrofoam with this, and the trees are going to hold this in place. Okay? So I definitely want my back one, my tallest one in the back. So that's where my green one is going to go. Got stuff dropping on me all over around here. Ta da Can that look cute so far? And all we did was use styrofoam. Now, I could go ahead and use these two or I could use these two. So you tell me what you like better. Do you like the two white ones? Okay, so what do we use? The two white ones or do we do a green and a red? What's your choice? I'll put the red one in so you can kind of see where we are with that one. It just does. It's one of those ceramic glue guns, the Rapid Heat from DeWalt. And I need a red, I need a star on this yet. Yeah, oh. Got to go back a little with this one. There we go. Then, it's like I didn't go forward enough. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, there's the red and green trees. Do you like the red and green tree, or do you like the two white ones with green tree? What's your flavor? Okay. So I guess we're sticking with these then. Uh, that's what everybody's liking so far. All right, let's glue her down. There we go. See how this kind of pulls apart? But it's the only one they had that had red. So 
We'll just trim it. Have to hold it a minute. But don't these look fancy? Got some uh, pine that's kind of forcing it out. There we go. All right. I'm going to cut this just a little bit. There we go. have to adjust this I know what I'm gonna do so we're gonna put another piece in there and bring it more towards the front and see I'm not pushing real hard I'm just tapping it down that way I can pull it after the season is over and change it out look at that cheese I didn't hold it down long enough. There we go. All right. Let's re glue. Get the pine out of the way. There we go. Now see the pine is disguising the styrofoam. There we go. How's that look? We're not done. We got all kinds of stuff we can add in here. Some of it's falling on the floor. Whoa. that if we want to I thought these would look kind of nice in and around here also remember those balls I picked up I can even add some of these colored ones too but first I thought we put some of this in there let's cut this down some Well, welcome, Sherry from Virginia. Oh, here we go. Dawn's thinking. <laughs> I don't have any tea lights up here, but that's not a bad idea. I actually have a set of lights um, from Dollar Tree, but they're stars. So I may just go ahead and change those. I thought that kind of looked nice in there. It's got the snow on it. Then I had some of this. Let's see. No, 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 no. Let me. I had some others. Got a little bit of everything we can put in here. Spruce it up. I thought this looked nice. We could put this in and about. I only have one of these and one of these we're actually going to do some separating out here to make it look like I have more than one 
So this is going to get over here. This is going to attach over here. So we got that there. Now we're going to glue these on here and shorten this stick. I don't know why, but these trees really eat up the glue. I got some of that. I also have another star here, so I can put that on top of the tree. This guy's leaning. I'm not liking that. This snowman looks like a chicken. <laughs> yes, I can come in closer, darling. Yes, it is a dough ball that I actually found on Facebook. Somebody was selling it. And I'm like, I gotta have that. So, that's what I'm using. I mean, I saw it, and I'm like, should I? And then it's like, I went and looked at it, and it's like, you know you'll use it. So. So there's what we got so far. Let's see if some of this looks good in here. gonna push that right in there. Huh. May not be able to cut this. Well Sherry it could be. I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut this. Nope. So let's see. Maybe this will look good in there. I sold my ice skating wreath today. One of my new puppy moms was here to see her puppy and she's like, I gotta have that wreath. And I'm like, yeah, you do. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's see about just, <gasps> I don't know, what do you think? I'm kinda liking these balls. They just have that little bit of glitter to them. I thought they might look good in there. Or we have the colored vintage balls. What do you think? This? Let's put some of this in. That's why I brought that up. Just put some of that around. I just love those balls. And then if we put some lights in there, <gasps> that's going to look so good. Yeah, it needs this red, right? Dawn's got me. <laughs> She's feeling it. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Oh, look at all hearts. You guys are awesome. <gasps> oh, <gasps> I know what I'll do. I get a little light set. And I'll put the lights up in the balls, and then we'll put the balls down in. <gasps> oh. Right, Dawn? Are you feeling me? <laughs> Dawn's
mom's always helping me. She always, it's like I have an idea, but before I can implement it, she's got it. Right? Wouldn't that look cute? <gasps> look at that. Right? Oh, that is so cute. I need something right here, though. So, and he needs some eyes and some buttons. <laughs> He's looking a little peaked. Looking like a flat chicken with that Santa hat on. I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to put a little bit of this in the back. This is boxwood. You can use boxwood in just about everything. Um, hmm. Good question. I'd say probably about 60 or 70 because of the, the bowl and the amount of stuff that goes in it and then I'm not sure how much it would be to ship you could always come pick it up Sherry <laughs> I just needed some of this greenery back in here I meant to get white paint because I was going to spray paint some of my greenery just give it like a little spritz that. That really fills it in nice. Put that there. I don't think I want any of these in there, but I do need something right there. So let me see. Actually, we could go ahead and put some of this back there. I think that would be good, too. Sorry, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anybody's comments. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! I just have to fix that tree. It's bothering me because it's kind of lopsided. That would almost look cute on top, too. Okay, what do you think? I'm thinking I might need another one right here. So, nope. That, I think, was just the little touch that we needed. up my area again <laughs> thank you I don't know if we want to get these are kind of like burgundy so they don't look as good to me what, there there yes going to have to glue some styrofoam right there to stick those in because that kind of gives it a little bit of height and then get a light set and put a light set in the balls inside the balls and fix my tree there oh and we got to add our little thank you now see, you could even get a tray from um, the Dollar Tree and do this. And then I'll put one over there. My little chicken snowman will fix him up. <laughs> And I could add a few more of these to this tree. 
actually, let's see if piece that right there and then I'll take one of these bottom ones off and I'll glue a few more of these because that's what I did. I just glued those to the tree. Now, what time are we at? 6.39. Oh, gosh. Now it's telling me my phone's about to die. So let me plug that in. There we go. Now, I'll do what I was going to do on Thursday before I couldn't go on. So, if anybody's interested in it, let me know. I don't... I was going to do a bow, but I'm thinking it doesn't need a bow. I think it's fine just the way it is. What are your thoughts? A little bow here? Let's just use this vintage looking ribbon. No problem, Sue. We made some Christmas trees out of yarn and styrofoam cones. And we made a little Santa out of pom-poms that I made last week. I just want to see if this will make it pop. Just right here. What do you think? Bow or no bow? Bow or no bow? It doesn't need a bow, they're saying. All right, so I've got to get lights for that. Another star and his eyes and buttons. And there we go. Out of one of those primitive dough balls. Bowls. All right. So this was the yarn we used for our trees. And, okay, if you didn't have a dough bowl, you could actually use one of these charger plates. I had pulled this out because I thought these would look really pretty, like in the middle of the charger plate. Look at those. Would they not look pretty on there too? And then you could put season's greetings or something on here. So, and if anybody's interested in any of the charger plates, I can list those too, because I have an excess of those. All right, so we have to add those to that. We'll just put that on top there so I don't forget. And I even thought some of these little vintage balls would have looked nice in there too. The ones I found at my favorite haunt last week. All right, so we'll go ahead and do real quick what I was going to do on when, on Thursday when I couldn't get on. Remember I had worked on this snowshoe wreath with the matching garden flag and the sign. All right, let's just move this over to here. Okay. Now remember I told you about, okay, when you're going to spend a lot of money on a piece that you're putting in your wreath, you want to, you also want to make a, like a more cost friendly piece too. Um, because these snowshoes were $35, okay, this is just another way to use these so I don't have all my eggs in one basket. So, what I did was I pre-drilled a hole there and a hole here, and I screwed these two together. Then I took this 
which was on attached to one of these and I drilled two holes in the top and this can be the hanger all right so I actually have this piece I'm going to put on here I'm going to take some of these off of this one and kind of place them down in here too and I had some ribbon that was one of them now where's the other one maybe we'll just go with this one but we're going to take these off and we're going to glue them throughout yeah it's just it's just a way because i spent seventy dollars on two pair of snowshoes so the other wreath because it has so much on it and that one's listed at a hundred that I wanted another another piece using these that would be wouldn't be I wouldn't have to price it as much to get my money back out of it. So I think we'll leave those at the top and then I will glue these in down through here so I can carry that down. So actually I end up only using one pick. I could even, if I wanted to, use that as a pick. I think I have another one. Yes, I do. So what do you think? Do you like these more snow covered, more, do you like them better than that one? Or do you like these better? Because I have to be able to cover up those holes. The screws and if I use these I would take one off because then I have an you know an odd number of pine cones so which do you like do you like the pine cone arrangement or do you like the holly arrangement oops what's your flavor we could even put some of those now. <clears throat> okay, Susan says she likes the pine cones instead of the holly. So we can ditch that. And we can attach these. And we can take off one pine cone. So then we have five, which is our odd number. Ooh, we lost another one. All right, we're going to put this back in here. We're going to glue that one on. They do. I think you're right. And I originally had them out for that, and then I was going to use them for that. But then I remembered, wait a minute. They do scream snow. So, let's figure out a way that we can place these on here. That I'm, it's a double duty where I'm covering up the screws. I think I just, ouch. We can just go snip the bottom of this. So then we can go into that. And then we can spread our pine cones out like that. Actually, I want it more like that. <clears throat> A pine cone. These are real pine cones. There. That's the way I want it. I even found more pine cones today that I had that I didn't know I had. 
So I am going to be full of pine cones now. I'm trying to do this upside down, and that's what the problem is. There. That's the way I want it. Just like that. All right. So let's trim this a little bit. And we could glue and then put our bow. They do. They do. And they're snow covered. So there. Let that sit a minute. And what do you think about that? I have the ribbon that we didn't use the other day. I had a bigger, where is it? I had a bigger pine cone one that I bought from, I don't know if we want any of the birch on here this time. Where is the other one? Come on. Well, there it is. Okay, here are some that I think would go okay with it. We got this that has pine cones. You have the birch. You have this. I'm not feeling that now. So, um, so which ones do you think you like? We could do this and then I got some more cardinals. We could put a cardinal in there. What do you think? Do we want a cardinal in there? All right, let me just start with this and see. I don't know, it's kind of flushed. Kind of not feeling that one. Kind of feeling that one. Or we could add this, the snow one, and we could add this on top. And we could add that in the middle. I guess I have to see it this way. That's what I'm. Or, 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 wait, wait. What do you think of these two? What do you think of that? That would really make it scream lodge, wouldn't it? Let's go lodge, let's not go country. And then we'll put our little cardinal in there. All right, let's try that. There's pretty steadfast, looks like it. Oh my gosh. Okay, Wednesday, you guys are going to love this. I am doing the gingerbread wreath. Oh, I can't wait. Then, 
I have another project this week where I'm going to be using little sleds and little gnomes. Just saying, you might not want to miss that one. Now, how long do I want these tails? I think about there. Oh, um, I don't know about the balls yet, Missy. I, I guess I could do them next week because I was going to use what I had. I, I can do it next week. So when do you want to do yours? Because I can be ready. Now that I got all my reindeer made, people are still watching um, Lori's video from the reindeer and they were inquiring about the reindeer and I forgot to post them so I had to quick make a bunch because I already had orders for them. Um, so I got that done. And I still have these. I still want to do something with these. I have these in this color and I have them in the brown. So, so yeah, we could do it next week. Where do I live, Susan? I live in Hughesville, Pennsylvania. It's the middle of the state. It's Northern Central, PA. And did you say you lived in Virginia? Or am I thinking of Sherry? That where I be. All right, now we need some of my famous tinsel tie, which I still have some listed on the website. Anybody needs any? Okay, you're in Virginia near Sherry. All right. All right, I need a little bit of this. So I cut this up to use on the snowman. So I'm going to use this to cover my zip tie and then attach my tinsel tie. So this is what I was going to do Wednesday when I couldn't go live because my Nevo was acting up. So you had a two for one deal tonight. How about that? Well, shipping shouldn't be too much then because you're not too far. No, no deer. It's actually a gnome that goes with those balls. Did you guys see what Missy and I traded? I made Missy, Missy had an order for a LGBT community wreath and she needed a scarf and the top of the snowman's hat to be in those colors. So I made her a snowman and then she went ahead and I said we'll swap because I want some of those balls with this ribbon. This ribbon I bought a while back. It was $30 for this much ribbon, <laughs> but I fell in love with it. So Missy made these balls to match the ribbon, and then I'm going to be actually making a gnome that matches the balls. So, and I can actually make him into a winter um, gnome. I was going to save it till Valentine's Day, but I can make it a double duty. It can be winter now and then um, Valentine's also. So we're good. And this was one of my finds this week. What do you think? Is that not cute? Three dollars. 
So this is going to have some Christmas lights in it, and I'm going to do another lantern swag. Is Nick on? Hey, Nick, how are you? I met Nick up in um, Rochester when we went to that wreath conference. Awesome guy. Awesome stuff, Nick. Loving your wreaths. All right, so we got that tied up there. Welcome, welcome. All right. So we've got our little cardinal. I've got to mount him in there somehow. So I always cover my zip tie with a little piece of ribbon. And now I can go right through. Let's pull him off before I lose him. And I'm right when I say him because he's the color, colorful one. So it is a him, right? Yeah, Nick did an awesome job up in Rochester with his. I think we made him do a grapevine that day. He gave us a choice. And we chose what he didn't think we were going to choose. But we still had an awesome time. Nick's an awesome designer, so if you haven't watched his, his Facebook page, you need to go on and like it. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right. All right, let's get this figured out here. Nick also has a class. You guys, if you're interested, you can learn a lot from him. I just watch his videos. I learn a lot. I love his simplicity. You don't need a lot in some of this stuff. Uh-oh. Got some unhappy puppies. Can you hear them? You just got fed. <laughs> Am I going to have to bring the guys in here? All right. Now, let's get our... I think that's Max. Just so his mama knows. I think I'm just going to add a little glue to the back. To ship you out, Mr. Max. <laughs> he says, Go ahead. They've had so many visitors today, and I'll tell you what, my husband has fallen for Gigi. Oh my gosh, what a little cutie pie! All right, so there we go. All right, you have a different option. When you have a piece that's a little more expensive than you normally go, um, in my in my snowshoe wreath, it it I have to put a little more you know money on that one because I have a lot more into that. But there you go. There's something simple with those, and all I did was attach them together. So we've got this. And we did this. So there you go. You got a two-for-one deal tonight. This is all handmade. Handmade snowman, handmade trees. I'll get the lights. I'll finish the star. So there you go. Thank you. I, I love that snowshoe wreath. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't bother me. I think that sucker's staying. That is... That was just, oh my gosh, that was just a sweet thing. Now, I don't know. 
Nope. No to that too. All right, there we go. Yep. That that just screams the lodge, doesn't it? So Wednesday we have the gingerbread. Oh man, I have to show you these. <gasps> Look at these little gingerbread guys I got. Are they not the cutest? And we've got another moose wreath coming up too. Um, what else? Excuse me for just a minute. Now the other two are mad, aren't they? I figured you might want to see your mama, or your mama might want to see you. Because you're going to be bugging me for a picture or a video. So we're working on getting my ears up. And tell them one is just <laughs> going off to the left. Tell them we're having all kinds of trouble, aren't we? Right? Where's your mama? Where's your mama? She's in computer land. Can you see her? Max. Where are you going? Now brother's mad, isn't he? Huh? Who's mad? Where's Barkley? Is Barkley mad? Look at that. You got all those hearts. Everybody's hearting you. Right? Right? Aren't you going to say hi to your mama? Tell her you're being a good boy. This is Yorkie puppies. They're going to be eight weeks old this week. And Miss Kayla is going to get her handsome guy in four weeks. She's dying. <laughs> right? Right? Okay, Janice. Um, if you go back on my um, page, when I did the snowshoe wreath, I actually put a link to the snowshoes in there. They were from Amazon. There's a link that goes right to them. Um, I had bought the one that was 36. There's also another one for 29. Also on YouTube, I put a link on YouTube to my, um, to the link. So if you go and look for the snowshoe wreath, um, you know, you could find him, find it right through that link. So I think I put it on the video of last week when I did the snowshoe here on Facebook and then it's also on my YouTube channel. So. Oh, Boy or girl, Susan. This is Max and he's got a brother, Barkley, and a sister, Gigi. Have any of you ever seen a party Yorkie? I can get her. I can get Gigi. It's Sparkly that's fight. Who's doing all the carrying on because his brother isn't with him. What? Alright. Now you gonna behave? Huh? This is gonna be a little awkward. <laughs> but I will try it. Okay, this is Barkley, this is Max, and that's Gigi. Gigi's a party orky. She's the three colored. Right? Say everybody loves us. Right? Got kisses? Oh, thank you. Thank you. She says, what are you doing in here, Mom? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. But there they are, right? Tell them. You're a crazy girl, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> ah. 
right? She is a cutie pie. She's a diva, and she knows it too, right? Say, I'm a diva. In fact, if she wasn't sold, she would probably be staying, but she's already sold. They all are sold, <laughs> right? Thank you. Thank you, Barkley. You tell everybody goodbye? Yeah, before you wiggle out of my arms. Huh? Getting a little hard to hold. But there you go. Let's move this. Yes, it's okay. Barkley, Barkley, it's okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great night. And thanks for joining me. We'll look for you on Wednesday, 2 o'clock. All right, bye-bye. There, okay? All right.